I just found my new favorite battery powered stand up paddleboard pump. I've probably used about 15 different paddleboard pumps, tried them out, tested them, reviewed them, and there is a couple of reasons why this is my new favorite. Number one, look how small this thing is. You can still get two to three paddleboard pump ups with this single charge, and that's pretty close to what some of the bigger options are doing. Number two, it actually comes with a bag. I can't believe how many of these pumps, you know, come with all these accessories, but nothing to carry them in. Number three, if you've ever dealt with these before, you know they're usually tied together with a string and just dangling all over the place. These are stackable, so nice to carry those around. Another great thing, USB-C charging. You can charge this with a USB-C cable. You can also use the USB-A and use the battery in here to charge phones. Uh, it does come with a cigarette lighter. These, you know, they're stopping to include these in vehicles now, so these are becoming obsolete. So happy you can charge it with just the USB cable, um, but you do have that option as well. It does come with a charging brick, as well as a few accessories and a replacement fuse. Just to show you real quick how these stack together, you know, just one on top of another, kind of cool. You know, plenty of different options for kayaks, for paddle, different paddleboard adapters, uh, balloons. You can use this for everything. And even another cool option on here that you don't see on a lot of these other battery powered pumps is a built-in light. And let's hook this up and give it a try. So Airbait calls this little guy the Puffer Pro. Can pump up to 20 PSI is the max pressure. It does have the standard inflate and deflate options like most of these pumps do. Set this at 13 PSI. And already it just, the fan kicks on there, but I'm assuming it's going to be a two-stage pump just like the other ones. It sounds about the same. So this has only been running for about a minute and it's already got the paddleboard initially inflated. I'm assuming it'll kick into a second stage. There it goes. So this should run for about 10 minutes. All right, so it's just about to shut off here at 13. So it automatically shuts off. You can see that you used just two bars of the battery there and it wasn't even completely fully charged. So I think you probably could get three solid paddle boards uh, blown up around the 13 to 14 PSI range. What you hear there is the fan still running. These do get hot and so you can't run them back to back. Usually you can fill up about two paddle boards and then you need to let it cool off for a while. If you have a paddleboard or you have a paddleboard pump that's wired and really just go buy this one. It's the best option out there right now. It's the smallest. You may not get as many inflations of the paddleboards, but you can't beat the size of it, the features, the convenience of all the pieces, or the fan just shut off. The case that it comes with, it's a great option. Couldn't say anything better about it.